Here we want to add functions and determine the domain of our result. So we have two functions, f of x and g of x. Both functions are root functions. So to add them together, we know that f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x. My functions then become x plus 3, which is f of x, plus g of x, x minus 2. Can we continue? We can't continue because our roots are different, so we can't add unlike roots. So my final result is root of x plus 3 plus root of x minus 2. Now our domain is we want to look at the domains now and figure out what domain is common to both of those functions, and that domain will be the domain of our result. So what's the domain of f of x? Well, we want to make sure that everything inside the, inside the root is positive, so that means everything at x plus 3 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So all x is greater than or equal to negative 3. That's the domain for f of x. For g of x, x minus 2, that combination has to be greater than or equal to 0. And so this becomes all x's greater than or equal to 2. Domain of each individual, what's the domain that's common to both of those? Well, this top one right here, we would have 0. We have negative 3, which is uh, negative 3 right there. And then all x is less, or all x is greater than negative 3 is that domain with g of x. This tells me all x is greater than 2. Let's say that's 0. Say that's 0. And that's 2. So the domain then, all those. Where's the domain common for both of those? It looks like it's right there at 2. So my domain for this function or the additive of this function then for it will be all x is greater than 2. Either all x is such that x is greater than or equal to 2. Or in interval notation, we can write it as 2, hard bracket to infinity. And that would be our domain for this overall function.